All right, guys, we are back with another game in Green Tooth Jungle. That is the jungle tile set map for Dawn of War 2, the beta. This time I'm playing against an orc opponent, still as Eldar here, and I've got a warlock. So, uh, warlock really. I've tried the other heroes, and I'm still liking the warlock the most. A couple of reasons why uh, the Farseer really just doesn't give you enough bang for the for her buck. Uh, she's she seems like she could be good late game, especially with the Seer Council. Uh, and the Warp Spider, well, uh, he's just kind of weak. You can't really stand up to another enemy commander as well with the Warp Spider. And the Warlock can definitely do that. The Warlock has enough hit points and enough good abilities to be able to get out of combat alive. Anyway, uh, we're a couple of days into the beta. I'm a little bit behind on the VODs. This is a game that I played a while ago, and I've got a couple of other VODs in queue. Uh, so I just want to point out a couple of quick things. Uh, some Im imbalances of Reed, the ugly head. Uh, Shuriken cannon platforms are imbalanced. Uh, assault Marine squads for Space Marines are imbalanced. Spore Mines for Tyranids, very imbalanced. Uh, so watch out for those when you're playing Beta and Relic. If you're watching my videos for some reason, could you please have a look at those? Because uh, people are going to find out very quickly that those, those particular units uh, are very, very powerful and spam them. Uh, I'm actually spamming some Shuriken Cannons myself right here because uh, they're fully really good against the Orcs. Just pushing forward. Uh, this has turned out to be a very positional game. You've got to actually set up your weapons team in uh, facing the right position to be able to get the shots off. But once you have, and once you're set up, uh, things become very easy. The Shuriken Cannon's just blasting those Orcs there, nothing you can do. And his war boss is coming in range, uh, the Destructor is, is being fired off there by the Warlock. Shuriken Cat form um, blasting away. And already the war boss is really, uh, reduced to half health, so the, my Warlock is going after him. And uh, this player seems to know what he's doing by just pulling back and uh, saving his war boss there. In the meantime, I'm just trying to edge forward so I can actually get that uh, that point. In the meantime, my one Guardian Squad has captured my half of the map. Uh, and Warlock about to get surrounded here by a bunch of Orcs. Luckily, they've got the wall protecting them from most of the Shuriken um, Cannon platform fire. So I'm having to pull out the Warlock back now because the Warlock is at half health himself. He's just upgrading uh, some armor for himself. And uh, while, I've, while I remember, while I've got the opportunity, here's one other thing that I don't like about the game so far, and that is that on the mini-map you can actually see what points your opponent is taking, which really gives it away and uh, allows you to really uh, predict what your opponent's doing and where his forces are, which really shouldn't be the case. You should have to guess, you should have to do some scouting, you should really have to uh, try and account for various things that your opponent might do rather than just having it handed to you on a plate, which is another one of the many reasons why this game is being dumbed down. I know many of you guys disagree with me on that comment, but the game is dumber than Dawn of War 1 and uh, most experienced players agree with me on that. I just want to, while I'm on that topic, I want to point out another thing which uh, which really illustrates that point very well, and that is the bases. You start with two turrets. It's really something to make weak players. It's something to make noobs feel like they're safe. They never have to protect their base. They never have to bother raiding their opponent's base and the workers. You can't do that in this game. Uh, it's really a matter of just fighting out in the field, and that makes it kind of one-dimensional as far as uh, many players are concerned. And ouch! I lost a squad there because, uh, unfortunately, the orcs uh, surrounded me or uh, trapped me or flanked me, however you want to think of it. And uh, trying to pull back into this game by bringing my warlock into the combat. He's a little bit weak, but he has got this uh, this psychic uh, shield ability, this, this power field. Forget what you called it, uh, which I'm, I'm wanting to activate. It's, it means that uh, the enemy, for a short period of time, uh, cuts through your energy instead of your health. But looks like uh, I'm not going to make it out of there. Hero's lost, so very sloppy play by me. I could have done a lot better than that, but unfortunately this guy seems to know what he's doing. He's, uh, he's surrounded my Warlock and, and cut me down, so I'm going to have to wait to revive him. Now, as you can see, there's a cooldown thing for how much he costs. The longer you wait, uh, the less you have to pay for him eventually once the uh, cooldown timer uh, hits the bottom and it, turns down, uh, it, it lowers down to 250, so that's the way to go. And it looks like the Orcs are doing very well here. Just uh, reviving my work now that I can afford to. And the Orcs really uh, seem to be getting a lot of territory here. I've got two of the victory points. Uh, so that's me doing well in terms of, of game percentage. But uh, he's got more of the uh, actual requisition points, I believe. And he's got an equal number of power generators. Orcs are on my side of the map actually uh, having a crack at my own power generator, the, uh, the free pop position there. So that kind of sucks. A lot of shooter boys out. So I'll be wanting to do something about it. I've got a couple of Shuriken plat cannon platforms. I'm moving around and I'm hoping to actually box him in. I'm, I'm hoping to set up my cannons over the other side of the river and start firing at him and force him into the corner of the map and hopefully that will allow me to, to take this. In fact, 
Uh, if this works, he will have made a serious mistake because this will uh, cause him to have lost most of his units. He's got only infantry out here. Setting up the uh, shuriken cannon kind of platform out here while the uh, warlock takes the, the front. And uh, he realizes this and he doesn't want to move straight into the shuriken uh, cannon platform. So he's uh, running around. So I'm going to bring around my second platform uh, just below his position here and, and try and cut him off. Warlock has leveled up. So level 2 Warlock, that's fantastic. I've, I've picked up the, the Witch Blade. The Merciless Witch Blade is, is probably one of my favorite uh, offensive items for the, uh, the Warlock. I haven't really tried the, the third, the tier 3 one extensively, but it looks cool. I just like the, the, the Merciless Witch Blade because it's very simple. Uh, and <laughs> uh, here's me sort of contradicting myself and saying that I like the simple stuff. But uh, to be honest though, if I was playing this game a lot more and was getting very comfortable with all of the abilities, I would probably pick the most complicated uh, ones just because they have the most potential and that's really how Nathias works. But it looks like the Orcs have been totally cut off here and uh, I managed to claw my way back to the game by really demolishing a lot of troops here. Leveling up again and that's...